Today I am going to make some ice cream cone cupcakes. I guess that's what they're called. <laughs> it's Candace's birthday and I wanted to make something kind of cute for her. And I've never made these before, so we're going to give it a try and hope it turns out really good. All right, so what I'm using today is some Funfetti cake mix. I had originally bought white, but then I wanted something a little more fun, so I went back and got Funfetti. And I've got some whipped white icing. I also bought some whipped uh, buttercream icing, but I'm a little scared to try it because I've never tried buttercream icing in a can. And I don't know if I want to use it for a special occasion the first time, so I might hold off on that one and use it for something else. Then I'm going to put sprinkles on some of them, and I'm going to melt some of these chocolate chips and try to drizzle it on top and make it look like a chocolate... Um, how do I say it? Almost like a hot fudge or like an ice cream with chocolate syrup dripping on it, something like that. And then I'm gonna use a few of the cup uh, cupcakes. I'm sorry, I can't talk this morning, y'all. I'm gonna use a few of the uh, chocolate chips to just sprinkle on some of the cupcakes. And then I have a crap ton of Oreo crumbs left from KJ's cake. So I'm gonna put some Oreo crumbs on top of some of them. So it's gonna be like a mixture of decorations on top. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting little X's in this aluminum foil. I put some heavy duty aluminum foil on one of these throwaway aluminum pans, cut X's in them, and you just stick the cones right down in them. So far, the only problem I'm having is if you cut the X a little too big, the phone, the, the phone, sorry, the cone don't fit as tight, but if you don't cut it big enough, it won't hardly go down in there. So you gotta get it just right. So like I said, this is my first time doing these kind of cupcakes. So hopefully they'll turn out good. So I ended up fitting 14 cones in this pan. So that's how many we're gonna do. And now I'm about to make the cake batter. Pretty excited about this. I've been planning it for a couple of weeks. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, I think there's 14 cones. I think that's what I counted. And so I ended up using less than two cups of batter for these 14 cones. And it said fill them three-fourths full, so I'm hoping I got it about right. We'll find out when I'm done. And hopefully they'll turn out right, and I guess I'll use the rest of the batter to make another cake for here. Not too awfully bad for my first time doing this. I would have liked the cake part to come up a little taller over the cone, but now I know to put a tiny bit more batter in there next time. But it won't matter because when I get the icing on here, you won't even be able to tell. And this is how they turned out, y'all. I think the ones with the chocolate drizzle and the sprinkles look the best. If I could have just got the chocolate drizzle a little bit thinner, but I did some with chocolate drizzle and sprinkles, some with just sprinkles, some with Oreo crumbs, and some with just chocolate chips. I think I made the most of them with the Oreo crumbs because she loves Oreo stuff. So this is what they turned out like. When he takes his hands off, y'all surprise.
<laughs> it's cupcakes. It's cupcakes. Y'all ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Candace. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> What you wish for?